How you doing, YouTube? Matt Mass of Beer Reviews, back with a little bit of uh, thinly veiled mystery beers. Courtesy of my boy Steven. Yeah, been ripping through these mystery beers that Steve has sent off. And uh, I've been doing okay with these as of late. I was on a little bit of a poopy run when it came to mystery beers, but um, I seem to be getting my. My kind of uh, my legs underneath me, if you will, again. Um, as far as what this beer looks like, it's like new school haze. I mean, infinitely creamy, two fingers, super tight, compact bubbles. I mean, rich as rich could be, kind of head. You want to sleep in a shit. Silly ain't got nothing on that. And that rich kind of orange core. Label wise, fantastic. Super thin paper towel, easy to rip off, but also very tantalizing because you almost see what's underneath. But yeah, I mean, she looks all the parts of a new school hazy IPA. Hmm. Let's see what the nose has. Uh, that's awesome. This is going to be a great. I'm going to tell you right now, nose, this is going to be a great. It's super vibrant OJ Ford kind of haze. There's a little bit of like a green kind of component there. Not ganky. Mm. More like a bright green kind of field of grass with a bit of overgrown weeds. And this, maybe I'm going to throw this one in there. A little bit of cilantro, only because I'm going to get a little bit of soapy characteristic off of this. But not in a negative way. Yeah, OJ all the way. That uh, that bright, kind of vibrant green component that isn't danky weediness. And then just that little bit of soapy thing going on. So that's kind of curious. That has me kind of thinking. Let's dive in. Cheers. Okay. I thought it was going to be a much more knee-jerk stellar beer let's put it that way oj still rides through you do get that bittering component now we're kind of moving away from that cilantro and there's something there it's gonna be really hard for me to peg down there's like a floral perfumey kind of component to it so that soapiness kind of graduated more to a perfume than an actual soapiness Man, what is that? What is it? I mean, you could tell me that this was dosed with, like, fucking flowers or something like that, and it'd be like, that makes all the sense in the world. Yeah. Still sticking with the OJ vibes at its core. Nice mouthfeel. Nice pop of bittering. Definitely has that kind of green that now starts to dip towards a little bit of weediness, maybe more like tomato stocky kind of uh, vegetal vibes. But there is that kind of soft floral component to it. It's actually not even that soft. It's more perfume than an actual flower to where it has that little bit of kind of um, alcoholic kind of bite to it. By that, I don't mean the actual beer itself has this heat to it. Even though I think this is up there in ABV, it's more like how flo you know flowers smell. Like flowers and perfume has that kind of alcohol perfuminess to it. That's the way it kind of comes off in here. Dying off a little bit as I drink it, so I'm kind of getting used to it. Yeah, I don't know. At first, sniff. Thought this is going to be one of those kind of super OJ forward beers. How the bittering plays in this, how that floral com component comes off. I think they're. I still think it's core four. I just think it's. I'm trying to think. Maybe my hands are too soapy. I don't think that's it. Anyway. Yeah, eight point two percent double IPA. Just hopped. Nothing else to it. Done. That's all I got. Uh, da, 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 da. Here. It is a treehouse beer. Okay. 7.1%. So I'm a whole digit off. And this be blue. It's an homage to Mosaic Hops. Really? Uh, brewed with pale, um, pale dextrin malts. A large dose of flaked oats in our house yeast. And little buckets of mosaic. Blue carries flavors of aromas of dank blueberry. That's kind of where I was kind of going into that kind of berry component, raspberry puree, tropical fruit, and guava. So you're talking about mosaic. I, I get the tropical, uh, the fruit berry component, but I've never had anything that vibrant um, from just a straight, what I assume is a straight mosaic kind of beer. But it does kind of make sense when I say, it says blue because I went for that soapy thing. I went with a little bit of floral. It, 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 even though it came off floral perfume for me, I could see that being more of a berry component for somebody, at least not me. Uh, that definitely didn't land this one. 
Um, but in the grand scheme of things, it makes sense what's written on here. 7.1%. I said it was 8.2, so I was a whole percent off. Um, I think this is just a massive amounts of dry hopping here. Makes those hops a little bit striking. Man, I get that blueberry now, but it comes off kind of like booberry. Not like blueberry, booberry, like um, cereal. Like that's that, that's that confusion of that soapiness and that perfuminess is more of a kind of cereal, kind of confectionery style blueberry and not like a, uh, excuse me, like a real blueberry. The more you read it, you know, kind of makes sense. And that's the thing. Like, there's sometimes when I drink a beer, and I say it's like this, and then I drink it, and then I unveil it, and I go, okay, you know what? I think they're kind of off in what they're talking about. I think I'm off. I think Treehouse is more on point with what they're saying here, more than what I'm saying. I kind of just got fixated on that soapy kind of perfumey thing. Easy enough for me to kind of confuse and kind of, kind of get in line with this. But I think it's a fun beer. Let's put it that way. This is by far and away one of, if not the most interesting IPA I've ever had from Treehouse. Because even though I had a little bit of knee-jerk kind of um, Treehouse vibes, again, I could say this is armchair quarterback stuff for you guys out there, but I genuinely did it on my line. At first whiff, I went, this kind of has Julius vibes to me. I assume this is like a Julius base with um, additional oats and mosaic kind of going into it because I did need your going. That's why I was like, it kind of had OG vibes. I was thinking Julius. The more I went on, more it separated from that. I never called it out. That's me for not fucking opening my big old mouth. But it did have Treehouse vibes to it. But it, it, the more I sniffed it, the more I kind of dug into it, the more I kind of got away from it because Treehouse beers tend to follow a bit of a pattern. Um, you know, they're big hazies always come off very similar they're relatively clear ish beers your brights and those of the world come off very similar their stouts are infinitely similar so there's this definite kind of pattern a lot of their beers do follow this is much much different than the typical treehouse beer that i've had and i think that's a fantastic thing that they're kind of um kind of just poking out in different directions and trying different things even though it is tried and true you're talking about a mosaic hopped beer that is about as traditional you're going to get especially when it comes to these new school kind of ipas but the way it's presented here the way those hops are worked and massaged to do what they do i don't think it's something you get a ton from a lot of breweries let alone a ton from mosaic so i appreciate what's going on here and i appreciate you treehouse and i appreciate you steven for sending this off so there you go super fun mystery beer thank you very much brother um very interesting I'm kind of guessing that he sent this off for that reason and that reason only because he wants to get my idea about what this one kind of landed landed as because I believe maybe he's like, this is a very unique take from Treehouse. We'll have to see when this goes up and see what's what. Uh, so there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, oh, I didn't do the whole ending thing. Is it one of the better double IPAs or single IPAs, I guess? Yes. Interesting-wise, maybe not um, Mount Rushmore status of pure enjoyment. But from interesting status, Mount Rushmore status. It's that interesting. I like the way it kind of plays and the kind of uniqueness it throws off. Um, Treehouse, brewery only. Usually not horrific price point wise. And if you like what we like this, if you like <laughs> cilantro, if you like perfumey beers, more importantly, you like those berry, blueberry vibes, but in a more booberry kind of sense than you like this. So there you go. Now it's actually over. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about this mystery beer massive beers at gmail.com that's my email you can email me if you're interested in ever sending off some mystery beers it's the only way we can do them and uh massive beers type that in the googs and see me doing social media stuff beer massive uh type that in the old googs and see me doing the whole podcasting stuff all that stuff up there now and hopefully you guys enjoyed our review hopefully you're enjoying a little bit of blue right now hope to see you next time you're my boy blue